Hello everyone, it's Sheen Trades with TraderLink and today we'll be going over our newly released footprint chart module. So to start this video off, I'll be going over the basic anatomy of a footprint chart. And as you can tell, looking at these candlesticks on the bid and ask footprint chart, more specifically, you'll have a left side and a right side. The left side represents the bid, the right side represents the ask. At the top of each candle, you'll see this golden number with a triangle next to it. What this represents is total delta of the candle. Now getting into the colored portions of the footprint chart, we have four specific colors that require a bit of explanation. So you see this green one, you see the red one, as well as the yellow and the blue. So as for the green ones more specifically, what that represents is a 300% or more than the previous offer, which is considered a buyer imbalance. A red color represents the same thing, just a seller imbalance. As for the yellow one, the yellow one represents a POC or a point of control. The point of control is essentially just the highest volume traded at a certain price. Following that, we have the blue one. The blue one represents the POC as well as an imbalance on whichever side that it's on. So in this case, it's considered a seller imbalance here as well as the POC. Following this, we have imbalances um, or stacked imbalances. You have, you know, a huge stack of green here. What a huge stack of buyer imbalances represents is potential support. Big stacks of red represents seller, um, seller imbalance or resistance. So following these imbalances, we now have what are called unfinished and finished auctions. So up auctions or bullish moves end at a price level above which no active buyers are willing to buy. The prices essentially become too unattractive to buyers and essentially how this is noted is on the chart is more specifically a zero at the bid if it is at a high. Price couldn't go a tick higher because there were no passive buyers looking to buy and this would be considered a finished auction. Vice versa for the opposite. So down auctions or bearish moves end at a price level below which there are no active sellers willing to sell. This is notated on the bid and ask chart by a zero on the ask or offer side. So something like this where you see something like this where there's a zero on the ask side. Unfinished auctions are represented by volume trading on the bid as well as the offer at a session high or a session low. They can provide logical areas for price to essentially revisit if need be just so the auction can finish. I wouldn't fade this move simply just because you see an unfinished auction Essentially, where you'll find most value in this is take profit areas at unfinished auctions. So unfinished auctions are something like this right here. You know, you have something at the at, at the bid as well as at the ask. And essentially, price will revisit. Those are good areas to potentially take profit. So moving on to the next portion, which is the delta of the or the delta footprint chart. So the sheer basic is if delta is greater than zero, buyers are the aggressor. And if there's more contracts traded on the offer than the corresponding bid, meaning if the delta is less than zero, the sellers are the aggressor, as there are more contracts traded on the bid than the corresponding offer itself. One key thing that we always watch out for is called a divergence. So the example is if price takes, if price is in a downtrend and it begins to retrace and test the prior swing high area, you always want to notice the positive delta and a large delta print signifying an influx of buy market orders. But price actually closes lower than the swing high, then we have what's called a divergence, meaning if there's a bunch of, let's say something like a wick, you get a wick like this, right? And on the top side of the wick here, you have a bunch of positive deltas, like 72, 50, and then something like 15 or something like that. So essentially what that represents is the divergence. And let's say, you know, this is the swing high area and then it comes back up to here. And when you approach this sort of area right here and it wicks and you see a bunch of positive delta, this is known as a divergence. Vice versa for the downside. Essentially these numbers will be negative. The wick will be on the bottom and you're approaching a previous swing low. So trades that occur on the bid represent seller aggression and decreased delta, whereas trades that occur on the other, on the offer side or the ask side shows buyer aggression and increased delta. Obviously, the more the most important thing, in my opinion, is you want the candlestick to essentially close above or close properly instead of having it wick with, you know, let's say close something like this and you see positive delta. 
that is something that shows strong buyer aggression versus a wick with positive delta shows a divergence. So those are the main key things. Um, we'll be going into more detail on different strategies that you can utilize for this. But as for the bid and ask chart, typically what you want to look for are stacked imbalances, whether it's buyer stacks or seller stacked imbalances. And then as for the delta, you want to spot those divergences, see if there's positive delta on the wick and um, or negative delta at the wick and go about it that way. Those are the most basic things. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us in the Discord and we'll go into further detail about it on another video. Thank you.